Today I'm going to be doing something a tad bit different. Instead of playing a game, I'm actually going to be 3D sketching. Uh, I'm using Google SketchUp. And because I am very new to this, and if I try to use too many other programs, I can't even make a square. So this is about three hours of practice and work in total of my entire 3D modeling skill. Woo. Um, I think, I think, you can give me feedback on this, but I think this is a good start. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you couldn't guess, but this is supposed to be the Enterprise. I could not figure out how to make the next section, so I kind of just skipped on that, and I'm not going to be making the nacelles either anytime soon, because, well, I don't think I could get those right either. Because, well, I'm still very new to this. Anyways, I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to be closing this out. And today I'm going to be working on an entirely different Star Trek still, though. Ship, uh, the Defiant. I'm looking up an image of it right now, so I kind of have a good visual representation of it. As you can see, I've got a very crude start here. Because <laughs> I have totally forgotten 100% what the Defiant looked at like until I start looking at these, and I am so far off right now. Uh, wow. Gee. I got the suggestion from someone else, because I was like, I don't even know how to start making the neck for the Enterprise. And they go, just make the Defiant. It's, it's trying to be that hard. Well, now that I look at it, can see I was tired of flipping raw. So we're gonna go with it. Now I've already actually created started up on this. Okay. So it's gonna be a very rough start, but I think after enough practice and enough attempting to place this in the right spot, the word attempt I might. Boom! Yeah! Ha! I've got two warp cells on. Now let's see the top. Okay. That's actually a good start to the back. Uh. Can I get an aft view of this thing? If I kind of like. Just zone out for a while. That's mostly because I'm going through every image I can find of the so close to finding a good image of the Defiant it gives me the top, the front, and the side but I need every angle ooh that's that's actually really good there okay okay so let's try this let's try to kinda Okay, those things go till there, so we need to move that. Okay, let's try to move it. Crap. I say close enough for now. Fix it just a tad bit later. It's gonna take a little bit of fixing to do, but this is my start. Now, it's going to emphasize on where I need my front to be by actually creating a square up here. Uh, let's find midpoint. Okay, there's midpoint. Let's get a good measurement upon this. So, I go to my least favorite tool, the tape measure. I actually kind of hate the tape measure. Boom. So, 9.902. Oh, so, I 
and then kind of like 2.4 me. Uh, again, I hate ta tape measure. Can I, can I not do any? This is the reason I hate it. Okay, let's just eyeball it here. Ooh, okay. We're gonna go from here to... <sighs> Thought I hit that. Not sure I did. We'll fix it later. Actually, I know how to do this. Find a midpoint. Boom. Now... And go like this. <laughs> Wrong one. This one. And okay. One point eight one here and go. One point oh eight one and I am very picky upon how close it is. Not exact, I won't be happy. Okay. Boom, there's our there's our front. Can I just erase that? Woo, good. So let's bring actually this out with here's our wonderful start to it. Now this is why I where I mess up on this program a lot. I cannot do arcs for my oh my gosh I did an arc. Break through everyone. Break flipping through. And totally messed that arc up. I have troubles with the arcs. What am I trying to do? <laughs> Control Z. Control Y. And grab this and go bang. Now, if I can actually get the same angle, I have. N I really should have paid more attention to that. I have no idea what it did. Okay, boom. And then, yeah, totally did that backwards. Who cares? Not me. Boom. He actually had the front curvature done. I might delete those warp missiles for in, in a bit because I don't like them right now. So I'm just going to be going off the top here. Now, I know it has a little bit of a slant down. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to try this. I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to create that. Grab this and pull it out. I can't pull it out. Okay. Z, Z. Okay. Let's pull this out. And then let's grab this and this and pull it. Attempt to pull it down. 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 <laughs> I can't pull it down. Down. Come. <laughs> this is why. I I this this is this is how you know I'm very new to this. Cause I can't pull this down. Oh oh look at that. I can grab this, pull that down. Oh yes. Not exactly, but still very close enough. Not really, but still. It's it's a start. I'm gonna actually try one more thing. I'm gonna try to actually cut this off from this, and then yeah, let's let's ignore that. One more try to get this to go down. I want it on the blue axis. Come on, people. Okay, mostly program, but I think I'm starting it. No, I'm making it go clockwise. 
Although that nose does really need to be longer. I don't know if I just did anything. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. And then let's just grab the top angle and bring it down some. Okay, boom. <laughs> That's my wonderful start. I wonder if I just grabbed it down. Oh! I have flattened it. I have totally flattened it. This this is my model right here. This is my wonderful defiant model. Uh, so obviously, as you can see from the start, this is going to take much longer than hours. And I'm going to try to remember to do this with video so I can kind of do this along the way and you guys can help me learn how to 3D model so that I can kind of get better at it and actually start doing something successful with it. I really should have deleted those Oh wait, no, those aren't the warpings. Impulse engines. Lies. I lied. Do not take my example. Don't lie. Bad thing to do. Come on. We can... That... 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 Uh. Another thing. I get confused quite often with this program. I can't tell what is actually a uh, shape and what is not. So I'm just going to... Okay, but this is kind of just be a starting, and if anyone has any suggestions, I would greatly appreciate them. I guess I might be able to do something like this, kind of like this a bit, raise that a bit, and then raise that a bit. Yeah, I know there's a faster way to do it, and yeah, no, I'm just going to keep it like this. And this is all I'm going to do today because I actually have to be somewhere early in the morning. Now, you may be looking down at the clock, which I'm pretty sure you can see it and be like... And so, I have to keep that in mind. It used to be um, 13 hours fast, but then it did not adjust for daylight savings, which actually saved me enough time. Uh, but that is my beginning model of the Defiant, and that is also where is my practice? Stop. And that is also my progress upon the Enterprise. So the Defiant. I think I just misspelled that. I am very, very kind of tight. <laughs> very kind of tired. Yeah, I am tired. No, I spelled that right. And then I'm going to save it. That's all I'm going to do for, well, right now. If you have, if you can help me at all, just by making any suggestions on how to do this. I do not have SketchUp Pro, so I'm actually not too sure which ones are Pro, because I still have 4 hours 62 seconds, or 4 hours 60 seconds, 4.62 uh, hours left. Actually, it should be 4.60 now, if not lower. I didn't really take the time to take it. 4.32. Okay, I was far off. It's very far off. Don't care too much. But if you have any suggestions on how to make the Defiant better, I don't want videos. I kind of want to just go through this without you watching someone else kind of do this and just copy them step by step or any any suggestions though on how to make a nice uh, enterprise basically any way to do this I've got I've, I've gotten most of it down I probably could make the warp themselves with a little bit of time and uh, the um, I can't remember the entire, their names, but what holds up the warp cells? 
but if you could give me suggestions on how to make uh, just the support beams basically to connect these things I just did something uh, that would be actually very helpful so this is where I'm going to just kind of jump off oh and this was Tectonic X2 and not an L506 uh, wrong one. As I can say, I'm still tired. 